Welcome to the Nutley Cisco Academy. Today we'll be, we'll be discussing routing. Oh. Alright, so this is why we route. So, um, so routes uh, define expressive paths between two routers and cannot automatically be updated. So you must manu manually reconfigure it routes when uh, network changes occur. So routes use less bandwidth than dynamic routes and no CPU cycles are used to calculate and analyze routing updates. Routers or computers. Uh, routers have, has a central processing unit called CPU, um, an operating system called a OS, and a memory and storage like a computer. But unlike computers, routers do not have video adapters or sound card adapters, but routers' volatile memory loses its contact, content when the power is turned off. So here are just some key network characteristics. Um, the first one's topology, and there are two types of topologies. There's physical and logical. Physical is more of the layout of the devices and the actual cables and locations, while logical just shows uh, the path over which the data is transferred. Logical is more was used in the Cisco packet tracer. Um, then there's reliability. It's how dependable or how dependable the parts in the network are. It's either measured as probability of failure or mean time between failures, MTBF. And then there's scalability, how easily a network can support new users and devices. Um, it's necessary for cost efficient growth because if you need to add new devices onto a network, it needs to be able to support it or it will cost a lot of money and be difficult to add them. So speed of router, um, it's in, it, it rates in bits per second. Uh, the cost generally um, expenses for uh, purchasing of router of network components and installation and maintenance of the network. Security, um, it's how protected the network is, including the information that is transmitted over the network. Availability is uh, the likelihood that the network is available for use when it is required. Fantastic.